In this video I want to give an ode to Else Marie Pade who was a pioneer in electronic music mm, because every year I check up on artists uh, if they've done something new and in some cases to see if they are still alive and uh, she passed away in January and she was uh, 91 and she had an uh, inspiring life, a long life um, and um, because she was born in 1924 um, she had kidney problems when she was a teenager. Um, when she was 17, she joined uh, resistance um, uh, against the Nazis in Denmark. Uh, in 1944, she was uh, captured and put to prison. And um, she survived. And after that, she began composing more seriously uh, with piano. And then, um, you know, electronic music came by. Um, tape music um, so she was the first person in Denmark and you know basically one of the first persons in in Scandinavia and Europe and she got in touch and uh, met up with uh, Pierre Schaffer she had uh, contact with Karl um, Heinz Stockenhausen or Stockhausen and um, she she did some uh, amazing works she really had her own thing uh, that sounded uh, you know cosmic ambient and um, noisy and experimental basically various stuff so um, um, and and uh, she was you know a contemporary with um, um, Eli Eliandra Dig with uh, Delia Darbyshire Eliandra Dig she's French she's uh, she's still alive she she has done some amazing soundscapes um, so uh, they all they were all pioneers and, and there were many men and you know many women in that scene too but for Elsa Marie Pade she um, she worked with tape and uh, during the late 60s or early 70s when the uh, Danish radio um, broadcasting organization were doing some reorganizing of materials uh, so uh, all of her work was almost lost but um, somehow managed to survive anyway in that mess and um, yeah, that, that didn't stop her from falling into oblivion basically and uh, in 2002 when she was 77 something she was um, rediscovered so to say because her work was reissued on CD and after that and almost up until her death um, she she's been doing some collaborations you know younger composers who just wanted to include her and um, she got some recognition finally for what she has done and i also think she deserves a special you know shelf or a corner in in the history of art and especially music and electronic music uh because in the 50s you know electronic music was very new People like her worked with tape, they recorded, uh, they sampled things, they cut it up, they put it together, they slowed it down, they uh, uh, pasted it up, um, uh, sp sp uh, sp speeded it up, uh, and they really experimented. And some of the music is really, um, um, you can really hear like and understand why things were 40 50 years later um it's really interesting for 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 anyone who, who enjoys that kind of um, going back to the roots you know you can go back to the roots in philosophy in in various sort of art um, traditions and also in electronic music and you get there you get to those names and she's one of them um, and uh, i also find her life worth contemplating i like the idea of having a long life and you know, not only being stuck in some kind of egoistic avant-garde um, uh, charade, but also being part in, you know, um, fighting uh, the Nazis, you know, uh, doing th uh, things basically, surviving a disease and uh, an Ill illness, I mean, not a disease. Um, and, um, and then sort of being acknowledged later, la later very late in her life, um, you know, I, 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 what I find is, you know, passion, like stick to your passion. And um, in her case, for example, she was way too early. So while she was, 
she had sort of burned up her um, you know creative year so so to say so to say um, the next sort of generation of electronic music came and uh, she was lost there for many years but she did get some um, recognition and I also think it's um, it's worthwhile to mention her uh, she's a huge piece of electronic music uh, pioneering and there are not that many people in on that list and yeah that, that was that so this is a note to Elsa Marie Pade who was born in 1924 um, lived a long life um, uh, witnessed various things uh, was the first with something was very creative had an impact and uh, died uh, um, being 19, 91 years old um, in January this year, uh, 18th of January. And I found out about this just recently, as I said, I look up artists and see if they done something or if they're still alive. And um, yeah, I was very, um, I mean, yeah, um, not shocked because everyone dies, but um, yeah, she's, she's gone from this world. So that's that. Um, enjoy music and take care.